Hello everybody, ABT here, and I'm back with another video for Star Wars Galaxy's Legends. And today we're going to be doing the Imperial Star Destroyer Heroic Instance. And the reason I'm recording now is because you need an ace pilot to fly you there if you want to get the buff for getting inside, or you can fly it on the luxury yacht, takes forever, and you don't get the buff. So basically, you're really going to want an ace to get you there. So luckily, in my group, I have an ace, Radical. He's a smuggler, and if a smuggler flies you in, you get a better buff than if any other profession flies you in. So he's volunteered to fly us. I've already accepted his invite to go into space, which is why we're here standing around the terminal. And now I'm just going to wait for him to make sure that everybody's invited to his ship. We'll launch. He's going to hyperspace us over there, fly into the hangar bay of the Star, Destro Star Destroyer, and get us inside. So I'm not going to show you guys any of that, because from my perspective, it's just going to be me standing inside of a spaceship while he does all the work. I'll get back with you once we're inside. So I'm going to do exactly that, and I'll talk to you then. All right, everybody. So here we are. We are inside the Imperial Star Destroyer. It spawns you here in the middle, and then you run over here to the side. So what's important in this first phase is make sure you have show all object names turned on. Make sure that if you have any familiars that are giving you an additional buff, you put them away after you get the buff. And that is just because this first boss that comes out to intercept you, he will be throwing, or excuse me, these people up top will be throwing grenades. And they will be throwing grenades proportional to the amount of objects that are out here. So like this pet is going to add a ninth grenade, which is not the end of the world. But basically, for this first portion, what's going to happen is you typically have your melee character, which in this case, I believe we have two, so that might get a little interesting. But it's going to be our Jedi, who's going to be out here tanking the boss. And it's also going to spawn all these grenadiers up along this upper ring. So as a ranged character, my responsibility is going to be to fight these grenadiers. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure that all of my buffs are still active. I'm going to ask him to refresh his officer buffs. And then once our medic is done loading in, I'm going to make sure that he's loaded in before we do anything. You go and you interact with that access controller terminal over there, and that's when the spawning is going to begin. It's also important to remember to keep moving during this phase. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to zoom out to about here. That way I can see if the grenades get spawned underneath me and I can make sure that I'm not going to get blown up because with the lack of jewelry and the lack of 35s that I have, I don't think I could survive a hit from these grenades. I have 23,000 health, which is a good chunk, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. Let's see if Anna is here. I know he said he had to AFK briefly while we were flying out here. All right, there we go. I'll give everybody the quick ready check. We'll go ahead and get started. Looks like we're pretty much ready to go. Go ahead and tag the terminal. It's gonna start the sequence. Authorities have been notified. And here they come. So that's the main boss, Crix. And then these are those grenadiers that I was talking about. So typically, the way that you fight them is going to be left to right. You want to try and take them out in a coordinated fashion. Because if you do so, it's going to reduce the amount of grenades that are all over the place. on the lookout. There they are. It's these proton grenades. That's what you want to be looking out for. One of our spies just got absolutely creamed by. Got one put underneath me. That's not the one I should be targeting, but okay. There's another proton grenade. I'm going to zoom out even farther. Makes it easier to see. I think one of our spies is going to get himself killed here. Looks like we also have an AFK spy, which is not great. But 
another grenade under me. Once you take out the grenadiers, it gets a lot easier. Um, really, the only thing that Crix has is going to put out this big wave of fire that's going to do quite a bit of damage, so just watch out for that. Be vigilant of your health, and you should be just fine. I know I said left or right, and it completely broke what I was saying, but we got it done. And now, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run around this guy in circles, watch out for the fire, and once he puts it on the ground like this as well, that fire will also damage you. So just be vigilant that you're not taking any unnecessary damage, that way you're not putting any unnecessary strain on your medic. I already put the lead back on random, but not too sure. Also, there's several times throughout this instance to where if your group dies at any point in time, it's actually going to lock you out until either your group completes it or the remainder of your group also dies. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're going through the instance. Ah, I did not put it on random yet. Loot options, random. Perfect, and I'm running to the wrong side because I'm not paying attention. So now we're going to work our way through the Star Destroyer. I'm going to pop my double time, and we're going to plow on through. go. So now I'm going to talk to Commander Ken Kirk here. Remove these bars. And he's going to send a security detail to fight us. They're going to spawn at various points along this hallway. We're going to wait for the squad leader to spawn. And once we kill the squad leader, we're going to get the key to the door as I bump my microphone and probably make a horrendous noise. Hopefully, eventually, our other spy gets back, so we get back our added DPS. Perfect. Oh. Didn't even see this guy. stuff behind a spawn loop, and the squad leader will not spawn. The pet is in here doing his own thing. Here's the one the smuggler grabbed from the hangar. We should be getting a squad leader here pretty soon. Usually, whoops, not that. Usually, it doesn't take very long. still is not back, so hopefully... Oh, there's the squad leader. Perfect. 
Hopefully he doesn't uh, AFK DC on us. And there we go. Now that the squad leader is dead, you can run right through here. Then this little portion is basically going to be a rinse and repeat of what we just did. You're going to be fighting more dark troopers until this door right here opens up. And they're going to spawn here, here, and down that hallway that we just came from. are open, and we can continue on. So while I'm running, because this next bit is just that quite a bit of running, I'm going to go ahead and reactivate my buffs, buff items. There's also several collections you can complete on this instance, but I will talk about those another time. This. Take out this one as well. What we're going to do next is talk to Ken Kirk again, and he's going to send us down this hallway to the left. So these are more of those Blackguard Grenadiers. Our smuggler is an absolute psychopath, but uh, we'll take him out. Taking a wee bit of a beating there. I was going to say, normally you kind of take these out a few at a time so you don't get like, too many grenades, but I guess sometimes you can also just kind of go for it and it works out. We still don't have our other spy bag, which is kind of bummer. But we're making do. Um, so this guy is going to call artillery strikes, which he has to do to rip the star destroyer makes a lot of sense. And these interrogator droids actually do quite a bit of damage. So what you're going to do is you're going to first burn down one of these interrogator droids, and then you're going to focus the other interrogator droid, and then the boss himself. And there we go. Group's tasting. Taking a decent chunk of damage, but it looks like our medic's got a handle on it. And 
there we go. So now, and it looks like our smuggler is going to take care of it, but I'll walk in here to show you. You're going to come in here and you're going to interact with Chief Olam. And he's going to be like, oh, I'll help you get the Star Destroyer back. So he's going to walk back down this hallway and then over here to the elevator. So the good engineering chief, once he gets down here, is going to turn this elevator back on and then we'll go up. All right, and now the lift is operational. So once you get up here, typically one person's going to go pull the enemies and everybody else is going to stay behind. What are we doing? I guess this group wants to do it differently. So we're gonna go ahead and just forge onward. What happens here is, is that these engineers are basically going to rat you out to the borders, and they're going to call more of them. So what you need to do is you need to clear out every single engineer. play I've ever seen this done, but at least we're getting through it. I'm trying to help the medic out with as many heals as I can give myself as well. Not sure how I ended up taking everything. So, quick note before this group runs in like absolute maniacs, you should be able to skip this next room, which apparently they are not interested in doing. So if you run around the ring of this room, which is what a lot of groups would do, you actually don't have to fight any of the borders in here.
Alright, onward we go. Alright, now that we've taken out the last border, all you need to do is run back to the elevator from which we came, and we'll begin our ascent to the bridge where we'll fight the final boss. So, back down the elevator. And then, this force field's going to open up. It's going to let us in to the final room. Perfect, so you want to make sure that you step inside of the room because those bars are going to go back up here in a moment. Once everybody's inside, the fight should start. Stand around. There's really nothing too complex about this fight. So we'll just get to it. Take my map back off my screen so you can see the rear end of this ginormous bug instead. lost aggro because the clone of our spy died. He got a bunch of his health back. That was kind of annoying. But no big deal. We'll just take him down again. This guy can also actually drop some pretty good loot. So we'll see what he drops. Ah, we'll uh, there's the artillery strike. That's really all this guy has. That's anything special at all. So not too threatening. So that's just a cosmetic house decoration type of item, so didn't really drop anything useful. And now we go up the elevator. 
Then what you're going to do is you're just going to run past the stormtroopers all the way to the end. Also doesn't really have anything special. Uh, he's not too threatening. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and take out these stormtroopers that we drug with us, and then uh, start on the boss. gets a little closer to dead, I'll make sure that I throw it on lottery loot. That way everybody can see what he drops. Alright, that's fine. But that's going to be the end of Imperial Star Destroyer. So, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time.